Hey, this is Dan Hegerich. We're doing a, a video today on the personalized modified mini beat flush that I grabbed from Robert Von Sambacher some years ago. Uh, the extent of that is not about this recipe. It's about personalizing so you could do it for a daily uh, meal or weekly or whatever. It involves taking a shot of cinnamon. You'll see that in the video. It takes, it's also making a beet juice. Usually it's with beet juice, asparagus, or beet juice and fennel. I actually added today in this video, you'll see I added beet juice with turmeric, ginger, lemon, and uh, that's about it. And then you'll see that it follows up in the next phase, which is a salad, which is with grated carrot, grated uh, Granny Smith apples, and then some walnuts, avocado, and a little bit of raisin uh, and lemon juice. I hope you enjoy the video. If you like it, make it, enjoy it, eat it, share with your experience with us. Join us on our podcast, Do The Cure. Thanks for watching. Hey, here we are. We're making our cinnamon shot. We're putting about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons of cinnamon. Ceylon cinnamon's great. Adding some spring water, shaking it up in a mason jar. You could pour it in a nice shot glass if you want, or you could just down it like I am right here. Bada bing, bada bang. Done. Now we move right into the next thing. We got some turmeric. We're gonna make the beet juice right now, which is uh, with some turmeric. Looking at that beautiful color of orange. I'm gonna put some ginger in this juice. I don't know, maybe 15 grams. Nice yellow color. We slice up a, a beautiful beet here that I got from the farmer's market. As you can see, it's got a beautiful magenta color. As you know, beets have been well known for its help in the, the liver, helping to produce better bile, maybe in a better quality and quantity. So I cut a little carrot top off. I'll put those through the juicer with this, just because I'm not gonna eat them. And now we get some lemon. As you just heard, we got several ingredients. We got the turmeric, the ginger, we got beet. We got some lemon. Now we're going to put it through the Green Star Juicer. I like the Green Star Juicer because it's a masticating juicer. It's a slow juicer. Runs about 110 RPMs. So I put them in small chunks and as you can see I twist it because twisting is easier on me, my wrist, my arms, and on the juicer. So let's be respectful of our tools, of course, in the kitchen. Want them to last. As you can see the beet juice and all this beautiful color coming out. The fiber was coming out and all that nice uh, juice. Pushing all that vegetation through. It's pretty dry, but what's gonna happen is I'm gonna actually put a little bit of that back through the juicer at the end because there's just a little bit more of the beets hanging out in the auger. Check that out, look at how much comes out. That's another couple tablespoons maybe that came out. A couple tablespoons would be about an ounce that you might lose because you thought just because of the the beets are done. Now I pour that into a nice mug and there you go. All right, here I am. I've just taken a nice big sip. Wow, it just is amazing. There's so much flavor. Now we're here. We're going to make the salad. Call it a salad. We, we follow up with some carrots and some Granny Smith because it helps to, uh, I guess, neutralize some of the action of the uh, beet juice because it can be very 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 aggressive in terms of moving that liver and these uh, ingredients the carrot the grated carrot the grated granny smith apple with its malic acid it actually helps to soften that and to uh, add more nutrients for the liver as you know beta carotene is helpful as long as you have some fat in it which of course in this salad we're adding some walnuts for fat and we're adding some Almond, uh, not almonds, excuse me, avocado for fat. Here I'm coring the apple because I don't want to eat that. I just simply just peel it out, pop it. Move through. I'm using one, one medium carrot to one medium apple. And you can come up with your own quantity. But that was about the extent of the recipe that I have got been given. It's about one or two of each for the salad. As you can see, there's the Granny Smith. Look at all the juice coming out of there, and that's gonna soak up into the carrots. 
and we squeeze a little lemon juice. Reason for that is, is mostly to add a little bit more liquid, but also to actually prevent the oxidation and browning of the Granny Smith apple and the avocado, which if you add a little bit of citric acid from the juice or any kind of acid, it prevents it from oxidizing too quickly. So you can see I sliced up the avocado, squeeze a little bit, scoop it out. So it's kind of all diced up. Add some raisins. Just a few, and I think that's just for more texture thing, more, a little more pleasure thing. I don't think there's really any real nu nutritional value in just those few raisins except for the pleasure value, which is what I'm here to do is to make most things or some things as nutritious and delicious at the same time. So here I'm adding some walnuts. I'm gonna stir it all up, mix it all up, get those flavors marinating. And there you go, there's your gluten-free grain-free, bean-free salad. So if you're concerned about what am I going to eat if I can't have bread or donuts, look at what you can eat. This is, this is amazing. Look at my eyeballs. They just came out of my head. Roaring with strength. All right, this is Dan Hagerich. Thank you for watching this video. Here's what I like to say. Because I cannot change your life. That's your job. You change your life. You transform yourself. But I can make your job a little bit easier. I can make your day a little bit happier. That's what we're all here to do. Thanks.